Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum dear students. Welcome back to your channel The Anatomy Canvas. Today we are going to discuss with the uh, MCQs on histology of the reproductive system and we will discuss these MCQ with the explanation uh, and according to the uh, histological pictures of different areas of the um, reproductive system. These MCQs are important from your exams point of view. So now let's start. So the first MCQ is that which of the following layer of the uterus undergoes cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle. So it may be stratum basal, it may be stratum subvasculare, it may be stratum functional, it may be stratum supravasculare or it can be stratum vasculare. So the layer which undergoes cyclic changes during menstrual cycle is actually the stratum functional. This shows cyclic changes during first half and second half of the cycle and is shed in the menstrual phase. The stratum basal remains over there. Next MCQ is like other steroid secreting cells, the lytic cells have an elaborate smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, prominent nucleolus, lysosomes or euchromatin. So these uh, organelles show different features like smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the feature of the cells which um, are related to lipid metabolism and steroid secretion, secretion, the rough endoplasmic reticulum. This organelle is present in those cells which are related with secretion of the proteins, prominent nucleolus and euchromatin shows the cells which are actively dividing and also the lysosomes are present like in the cells which are phagocytic in nature. So this is an, an electron micrographic picture of the lytic cell. This is one lytic cell and this is another lytic cell. In this this uh, electron microtransmission electron micrographic picture you can appreciate that this is the nucleus and these are the large number of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum which are present along with a uh, large number of the lipid droplets and some amount of the mitochondria so dark clay colors uh, oval uh, uh, bodies shows the mitochondria and light color uh, gray light gray colors shows the smooth endoplasmic reticulum so answer to your question is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum which is present in the lytic cells human primary spermatocytes enter the prophase one which lasts for either 20 days 22 24 26 or 28 so you all know that it is 22 days pro acrosomal granules which are rich in the glycoprotein are derived from mitochondria the rough endoplasmic reticulum the smooth endoplasmic reticulum the cardi apparatus and the lysosomes so this is the diagram which is showing the acrosomal and pro acrosomal granules which are formed and these acrosomal and pro acrosomal granules are formed from the golgi apparatus Another MCQ is asking that the uh, junctional complexes forming the blood testes barrier is formed by the lytic cells, sartoli cells, spermatogonial cells, type A dark cells and type A pale cell. So answer to your uh, question is through this diagram, this is the epithelium of the seminiferous tubules and these are the cells which are uh, spermatogenic cells which are present in different stages like early spermatocytes. Uh, site which is present over here the late stages of the spermatocyte and spermatid are present over here and this large cells is the sartoli cell and this is the lytic cell and this area show the tight junctional complex between sartoli sartoli cell which is forming the blood testis barrier and dividing the component of the testicular epithelium into basal component and adluminal component so answer to your question is the blood testis barrier is formed by the Sartoli cells. Next question is that the tubuli recti in the testes are lined by the simple columnar epithelium, the simple cuboidal epithelium, the pseudostratified epithelium, stratified columnar epithelium and the stratified squamous epithelium. So tubuli recti you can see through this diagram this is the area of the tubular recti, this is the area of the ret testes and this is the section through seminiferous tubule. So in this diagram you can appreciate that this epithelium is simple cuboidal in nature. No sort of cells are present in tubular recti and these are lined by the simple cuboidal epithelium. 
so which of the following is true about the lining epithelium of the oviduct this is a little bit difficult i'm sick you uh pex cells are most numerous in infundibulum first option is this so this is wrong because uh, these are the ciliated cell which are most numerous in the infundibulum next option is the ratio of the ciliated to non ciliated cells remains constant so it does not remain constant and it changes according to the hormonal levels in different stages of the menstrual cycle simple columnar non ciliated epithelium so it is not true because epithelium is simple columnar but ciliated it is damage in cartagena syndrome yes it is damage in cartagena syndrome because cartagena syndrome is an abnormal cilia syndrome in which cilia in different parts of the bodies are affected so cilia in the oviduct are also affected in this disease and cells show high cyclic hypertrophy in secretory phase again this option is wrong because cells show cyclic hypertrophy in proliferative phase not in the secretory phase so question was which of the following is true about the lining epithelium of the oviduct and answer is the uh, that it is damage in the cartilage syndrome next question is uh, that the male accessory sex gland that contribute the most volume to the semen is is easy question it may be prostate seminal vesicle bulb or urethral corpus gland and vas deferens so answer is seminal vesicles specialized cells responsible for producing testosterone in the testes are called so again another very easy and typical mcq the options are the sertoli cell the spermatogenic cells myoepithelial cells lytic cells and interstitial cells so answer is the lytic cell which is secrete testosterone next question is what is the surface modification seen on the cells of the epididymis this surface modification may be cilia may be brush border may be keratinization may be microvilli and the stereo cilia so you can appreciate through this diagram that this is the section of the uh, epididymis and it is lined by the pseudo stratified uh, epithelium having stereo cilia over here so the option is correct option is the stereo cilia spermiogenesis consists of all of the following phases except the cap phase the colgi phase the prematuration phase maturation phase and the acrosomal phase so you can see through this diagram this is the colgi phase in which acrosomal granules are formed from the colgi operators then these acrosomal granules move and they form a cap or on the or to cover the nucleus and forming the cap stage then there is the maturation stage in which a flagellum is uh, formed and then the um, acrosome phase and then extra uh, amount of the uh, cytoplasm is extruded from the cell as the residual body so the prematuration phase do not exist in the phases of the sperm and sperm neogenesis all other phases are present where is the carpora in malaysia is found is an pituitary gland it is in pineal gland is it in adrenal or pancreas or prostate gland so answer is the prostate gland the carpora in malaysia also called the prostatic concretions it is a eosinophilic lamellated bodies present within the lumen of the gland and increases with age so answer to, to your question is the prostate gland what is the connective tissue layer that is around the primary follicle can be graphene follicle theca folliculi gra granulosa cells zona pellucida and the antrum so to you can see through this diagram this is the primary follicle oocyte is present over here covered by the zona pellucida next is the layer of the granulosa cells their basement membrane and outer to the granulosa cells the connective tissue layer which is called the theca folliculi so theca folliculi is the correct option that is these are the connective tissue cells uh, covering the primary follicle next question is what is the connective tissue uh, which surrounds the ovary which surrounds the ovary that is either follicle germinal epithelium medulla tunica albuginea or cortex so in this diagram you can see the uh, lining epithelium is the 
cuboidal epithelium. Beneath cuboidal epithelium, there is tunica albuginea. After that, large number of follicles are present in different stages, forming the cortex, and in the center is the medulla. So, answer to your question is tunica albuginea is the connective tissue layer which surrounds the ovary. Which of the following statement is a not true regarding service? Again, another little bit difficult MCQ. The cervical mucosa is 2 to 3 mm in thickness. Yes, it is true. Cervical mucosa shows changes with menstrual cycle. No, it does not show any changes with menstrual cycle. It contains large branch gland. Yes, it contains large plant glands. The nipotian cysts develop frequently. Yes, it is true. These nipotian cysts are the form because from these branched glands, whenever the duct of the gland is blocked, they form the nipotian cyst. There is a tenfold increase in amount of the mucus at the mid cycle. Yes, it is true because at mid cycle, uh, amount of the fluid, amount of the mucus increase up to tenfold uh, to facilitate the movement of the spermatozoa through the genital tract. So, the two, three, uh, option which is not true regarding cervix is an option B. That is the cervical mucosa show changes with menstrual cycle. So, what is the cyclic changes which occur in the memory gland of the non-pregnant? So, uh, please concentrate on the stem. This is the non-pregnant female. Dramatic increase in secretory activity at the time of ovulation. No, because dramatic increase occurs in pregnancy. Glandular component chiefly consists of the alveoli. No, glandular component chiefly consists of ducts. There is increase in vascularity. No, increase in vascularity basically occurs in pregnancy. Reduction in amount of adipose tissue. Again, it is not true. Large number of adipose tissue is present. The secretory cells of alveoli increases in height with fluid accumulation. So, this is important because in secretory phase, the height of the cells increases and there is little bit accumulation of the fluid in the lumen of these ducts. So, correct option is is E. Now again please con uh, concentrate on the stem. During late stages of the pregnancy increase in size of the breast occurs that is mainly attributed to again a little bit difficult MCQ. Uh, the accumulation of the lymphocyte and plasma cell in intercellular yes it is true accumulation of the lymphocyte and plasma cells also occur but it is not the main factor responsible for the increase in size of the breast branching of the duct occurs yes it is true but it is not the main factor responsible for increase in size of the breast the hypertrophy and the secretory cells, uh, hypertrophy of secretory cells and accumulation of the secretory products. Yes, it is true, and it is the main factor which is responsible for increase in size of the breast uh, during late stages of pregnancy. Increase in number of the adipocytes. Yes, it occurs, but not the main factor. And proliferation of the intralobular connective tissue. No, it is not true. The intralobular connective tissue rather decreases with pregnancy. So this is the diagram you can see large number of the hypertrophy of the secretory cells and the glandular element increases the ratio of glandular element to connective tissue varies and large number of glandular element is present with large amount of the secretory uh, material secretory fluid in the lumen of the duct so answer to your question is answer c the transition zone between the vagina and the cervix is the common site for dysplasia and cancer. So another very important MCQ from clinical point of view that the transition zone is present between vagina and cervix and it is the commonest site for dysplasia and cancer and I have explained you that we take the pap smear to identify the early stages of the cervical cancer from here. So what epithelial transition is seen in this zone? 
you can see this diagram this is the area of the vagina and this is the area of the cervix and this is epithelium over here is the stratified squamous and non keratinized type of epithelium and epithelium over here is a simple columnar in this inset you can also show this transition zone the stratified squamous and non keratinized type of epithelium and cervical simple columnar epithelium so answer to your question is option c that is vagina stratified squamous to cervical simple columnar epithelium uh, is present in this transition zone next uh, mcq is that the basal zone of the endometrium is characterized by so this is basal zone in this diagram you can see this is the proliferative area and this is the basal area it is the reserve part of endometrium yes it is true contains neck of the gland no neck of the glands are present in proliferative zone and bases of the glands are present in basal zone it contains spiral arteries no spiral arteries are present in proliferative zone it undergoes un cyclic changes no cyclic changes occurs in proliferative phase proliferative zone and shed at menstrual phases no it remains at menstrual phase and the uh, proliferative area is shed in the menstrual phase so answer to your question is that the reserve part of the endometrium so we end our lecture over here this is your reference at histology art extend atlas by michael h ross and thank you so much for your attention and here we complete our lectures on histology of the reproductive system both male and female genital system including the uh, mcqs and their explanation so not allah hafiz till we start the uh, next system allah hafiz